Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It is time for another installment of seven minutes in the morning today. I want to talk to you about doing the little things, doing them right and why they matter. Stay tuned. We're going to hit that right after this. This is seven minutes in the morning where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey, look at that. We're back. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tom, and this is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Do me a favor when you get here, go ahead and leave a comment. Say hi, hello, good morning. Let me know that you are here. Uh, just as Joe and Catherine have done already a glorious day. I love saying that little things do add up to big differences. That's what we're going to talk about today. That's one reason I was running a little bit late because I have graphics today and actually, yeah, good. I did start with the right one. This is a, a an excerpt. I'm just going to jump right into this because I'm a little excited to talk about this topic. Throughout the week, we've kind of been talking about goal setting. Even back into last week, we were talking about goals and um, some of the issues around and associated with setting goals. Well, today I want to show you kind of why this is important. And, and this is a, an outcrop of um, of this program that I've been talking about, the uh, Outcomes-Based Framework for Success. This is part of... Uh, modified part of what we talk about there so in the graphic you can see if you're listening i'm sorry you just have to come watch the show go to youtube and uh, look up tom rigsby do the little things matter but on the left we have goals they're the big things the goals those are words they are um how the the things we want to create we've talked about smart goals specific measurable aligned related or relevant and uh, time box those are our goals well sometimes those goals can be pretty big and daunting and we look at them and like oh man that's yeah especially you know if we're talking about a big hairy audacious goal man that's that's a lot um i'll start on that tomorrow and then tomorrow never comes we never start on it it, it doesn't happen so this is a continuation of the process and as i've kind of been working through uh some things for um another project i'm working on um there's this challenge that we face very often about transforming the ideas and the goals into daily activities so this is kind of the ideas is what got me uh, on this topic today so if you take the goal and you break it down into projects and then you break the projects down into tasks, like you, if you're watching, oops, there's the light back there. You can see on my, on my whiteboard behind me, those are all tasks. They're little sticky notes. They're the things that need to happen. So you break goals down into projects, projects down into tasks. That helps it seem less daunting, but that's not why doing the little things right is important. It's important because of the next graphic I'm going to share with you. If I can get that to work right. Yep, there it goes. Because when you finish those tasks, you complete projects and the projects complete your goals. That's why it's important. I can break it down into tasks and put it on little sticky notes on the whiteboard all day long and not finish anything not even start anything let alone create any kind of result it's only through the execution of those tasks that the projects get completed and the completion of the projects lead to achievement of the goals that's why the little things matter right and when you're when you're when you're talking about doing this stuff those are the kinds of things that you look for in people that are going places and going to achieve things. They're, they're able not just to decompose the big goal into the daily activities that need to occur. They're also able and disciplined enough to execute on those things so that they actually accomplish 
or complete a project so that they can accomplish the goal. Joe says, one question I always ask, is this the right goal to achieve the outcome that I desire? Absolutely. That's the um, R. That's the R in the SMART uh, goals acronym. Is it relevant? If I finish this, does it even do anything? Right? A is aligned with the outcome, the vision that I want to create. So as we're setting goals, is this goal aligned with that? You know, is it is it in alignment? But then R A can be in alignment and still not move the ball. So that's a great point, Joe. You have to ask that question. Is this the right? Is this not just the right goal? Because as um, well, it, it applies in projects here in the in the graphic we're looking at. It might require multiple projects to achieve one goal. That's okay. But does, does this work? And, and look, if the goal is aligned with the outcome and the projects are a decomposition of the goal and the tasks are a decomposition of the project, if you just do the task, you're going to get the outcome. It's, it's mathematically impossible not to. <laughs> oh, Catherine says you have to find a way to break the goal down into bite-sized little bits. You'll never be able to do it all at once. Absolutely. When I'm talking to people about using, let me hide that so you can see. Actually, I'll just go back over to this view. When I'm talking to people about doing the sticky notes on the board or defining these tasks, um, they have to be one day or less worth of work, preferably even less than that. You know, half a day if we can get to that, but no more than one day. If the task that you define as part of this goals to projects to tasks, if the task is longer than a day or, or requires more effort than a day, it might take more than a day to finish. That's okay. But if it requires more effort than a day, you need to break it down into subtasks. There's a real possibility you don't have it broken down finely enough. But, you know, maybe it's true. Maybe one step toward reaching a goal is to you know, work out five days a week. Well, you need five tasks, one for Monday, one for Tuesday, one for Wednesday and so on. Uh, but yeah, you're right. If you, if you don't break it down into small enough bites, then you still have the same problem, right? It's still too big to knock out, but I can, yeah, okay. Well, I can go to the gym today. All right. I can, I can drink a glass of water first thing today or I can call 10 people today, then tomorrow, 10 people gets a little bit easier. By the end of the week, maybe you're calling 15 or 20, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of the idea. Taking the purposeful and intentional step is the fuel that ignites possibility. Yep, I like that. Setting the right goals is just as important as setting goals. Absolutely. And one of the things that I work through with my clients frequently, and if, if uh, you need help with your projects, your planning, this is something that we'll do. Is this task necessary? Is this task necessary? If we don't do this, what happens? If we don't do that, what happens? You gotta be relentless in pruning down the work to just the work that needs to get done. Cause a lot of people will throw in, look, this happens all the time. So don't feel bad if you've done this. But a lot of people will throw work in that they feel comfortable doing so that they can have busy work to avoid the things that are uncomfortable. That's why you have to be relentless in keeping this pruned down to the minimum, not really the MVP, but the minimum necessary task list. Yeah. So Catherine says, I deal with a lot of mothers, breaking them down to 15 minutes or less makes things manageable. Yeah. Whatever your unit of availability is. One of the things that I talk about uh, a lot is using the Pomodoro method, which is 20 minute blocks. Um, but yeah, whatever, whatever your unit is, break it down into that. And look for those uh, people that you're working with, Catherine, that, that's, that's a great plan, right? Because if that 15 minute block is what they have, but their tasking is at 30 minute levels, then they're not going to see the progress that they need to maintain momentum and encouragement 
They need those tasks to be 15 minutes so they can see them being finished. They can see them being crossed off the list. Uh, Joe says, I always ask, do I have the resources and knowledge that I need to accomplish this task? If not, who or what do I need to move forward? You know, that is a very insightful question uh, to ask as well, Joe. Um, one of the things that I teach, I'm a really strong advocate for, is do what you do best and hire the rest. And there's when you do that, you know, you should spend roughly 85% of your time doing what you do best, right? So there is time in there to learn and grow and do the, do the things that only you can do. But when you do that, when you adopt that as a philosophy, you will find that there are things that you just don't know how to do. And it doesn't make sense for you to learn how to do them. For example, if you're not starting an accounting practice, don't teach yourself accounting. I mean, learn management accounting so you know how to read and interpret the documents, but you don't have to, you know, sit for the CPA just to have a business, right? So there are times where the resource you need, you know that some outcome needs to happen. We need to update the website, but I don't know how to do that. I guess I'll have to watch a bunch of YouTube videos and teach myself. HD. No, I don't do that. You know the outcome you need to create. Now's a great time to hire a resource, to bring a resource in to help you. Maybe that's with marketing. Maybe it's with HR. Maybe it's frequently it's with finances. Maybe it's just with the planning process, right? So whatever that resource is, that's what you need to go look for. And conveniently, <laughs> that's what we are working to put together for you. A network of resources that you can draw upon, no matter what the need is, that you can Get the help that you need building the business um, that you need to have the life and lifestyle that you crave. All of that, there's exciting progress being made on that. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and tease it here a little bit today and tomorrow, and then we'll get into some really good stuff about it next week. If you have a business plan, all of this stuff we've been talking about planning is useless if you don't put it into, into execution, right? If you have a business plan that you wrote at some point and you haven't looked at it lately, like, I mean, it's January. You should have, you should have already rewritten the thing, right? For, for 2020. But if you haven't looked at it lately, I've got something for you. We're going to have a workshop where we go through your business plan, help you update it and, uh, and do this type of breakdown where we break down the plan into goals, to projects, to tasks so that you know how to transform this idea that you have into tasks that you need to do on a daily basis in order to create that result. As I said, much more on that coming up next week. Do stay tuned for that. I am uh, pretty excited about that. Okay, that's it for today. Way over on time, but I hope that that's been helpful. If it was helpful for you and you got any benefit today out of our conversation. I would appreciate the old heart stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. If you are listening, head over to YouTube, Tom Riggs, and uh, just search for Tom Rigsby or Google Tom Rigsby YouTube. I'll get, there's only one. I'll get you to the right place. And you can watch today's show, see all the graphics uh, and kind of understand what we're talking about. There's also somebody in your network, maybe two or three people in your network that need to hear today's story, today's um, kind of description. Be sure and share. Click on the old share button that is underneath this video or audio. Send it to them right now before you go away and do anything else. They will appreciate it. I will too. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. We'll be back with a uh, Red Friday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning tomorrow. Until then, you guys take care.